And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday. It's the 3rd of May, 2020. It's the birthday of May Sarton, born in Vondelgem, Belgium, in 1912. A prolific writer, the author of 17 collections of poetry, 19 novels, 11 journals in print, and two children's books. But poetry was what May Sarton loved best. She said, if I were in solitary confinement, I'd never write another novel and probably not keep a journal, but I'd write poetry, because poems, you see, are between God and me. Started publishing as a teenager and published over a span of six decades. She had a stroke in her mid-70s, but she dictated the journals of her 79th, 80th, and 82nd years into a tape recorder, and all of those books were published in the 1990s. Spent the last part of her life looking out at the Atlantic Ocean from York, Maine, died in 1995. May Sarton, who said, one must think like a hero to behave like a merely decent human being. It's the birthday of the man who wrote Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Long Time Passing. Girls who picked them every one, when will they ever learn? Pete Seeger, born New York City, 1919. His mother was a violinist, his father a musicologist. As a teenager, he rebelled against them, decided he wanted to be a painter. But he went down to Asheville, North Carolina, to the Folk Song and Dance Festival there and heard the sound of a banjo and fell in love with it and with folk music. Dropped out of Harvard, rode the rails across America in the middle of the Great Depression, picked up songs, learned how to play the banjo, eventually began to perform with the Almanac Singers and with Woody Guthrie. Today is also the birthday of the philosopher Niccolo Machiavelli, born in Florence in 1469. He was a statesman and ambassador, but then the regime that he worked for was overthrown. And in 1513, he was accused of conspiring against the government, thrown into prison, tortured, and then released and sent into exile. It was in exile Machiavelli wrote his famous book, The Prince, published in 1532, in which he described how an ideal ruler should accept that he lives in an immoral world and use whatever means he can to secure order. He wrote, Since it is difficult to join them together, it is safer to be feared than to be loved when one of the two must be lacking. Here's a poem for today, an old English folk song, Who Killed Cock Robin. Who killed Cock Robin? I, said the sparrow, with my bow and arrow, I killed Cock Robin. Who saw him die? I, said the fly, with my little eye, I saw him die. Who caught his blood? I, said the fish, with my little dish. I caught his blood. Who will make the shroud? I, said the beetle, with my thread and needle, I'll make the shroud. Who will dig his grave? I, said the owl, with my pick and shovel, I'll dig his grave. Who will be the parson? I, said the rook, with my little book, I be the parson. Who will be the clerk? I, said the lark, if it's not in the dark, I'll be the clerk. Who will carry the link? I, said the linnet, I'll fetch it in a minute, I'll carry the link. Who will be chief mourner? I, said the dove, I mourn for my love, I'll be the chief mourner. Who will carry the coffin? I, said the kite, if it's not through the night, I'll carry the coffin. Who will bear the paw? We, said the wren, both the cock and the hen will bear the paw. Who will sing a psalm? I, said the thrush, as she sat on a bush, I'll sing a psalm. Who will toll the bell? I, said the bull, because I can pull, I'll toll the bell. All the birds of the air fell a sighing and a sobbing when they heard the bell toll for poor Cock Robin. That's the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, May the 3rd, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.